Here in the Layers panel, on this layer, I have a brick wall. On this layer, I have some chickens. Now I would like to blend these together to make it look like the chickens are painted on this wall. So with the chickens layer selected, coming up to the blending mode drop down, now we can just run our mouse over the options and get a live preview, which is fantastic. However, I often prefer to sit back and do this a little more manually. So confirming that the chickens layer is selected and making sure that the move tool is active, hold down the shift key and tap the plus key to cycle down the list. Hold down the shift key and tap the minus key to cycle up the list. When you get to either end of the list, it will just cycle around. Now in this case, I'm kind of liking the pin light blending mode. So before, why did I emphasize having the move tool selected? Well, this is a great habit to get into to make sure that you don't have a tool selected that has its own internal blending modes. Let's say, for example, we were using the brush tool. The chicken slayer is selected. Holding down shift and tapping the plus key is doing nothing within the layers panel. It is, however, changing the brush blending mode up here in the options bar. Now, if you don't notice this happening, you could be in for a world of frustration when later using this tool. So that's the shift key in combination with the plus and minus keys for changing layer blending modes here in Photoshop. I hope that helps. Catch you later.